Concerns over Cuba, Venezuela and Israel top of mind for two U.S. congressmen who represent thousands here in South Florida. They say they know what they want to see from the Biden administration when it comes to foreign policy. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero has their message. When I say the best, it is the strongest as far as supporting the U.S. national security interests, supporting our allies, confronting our enemies, and also reforming uh, the way we spend money. Republican Mario diaz Balart breaks down what changes will come with this year's funding for state foreign operations. The goal of Congress, to spend less, and they will to a 6% cut in funding. The congressman has just stated is that he's very clear about who is our friend, who are our friends, and who are our enemies. Regions like South and Central America will see direct impact, with millions of dollars on the books to promote democracy and religious freedom in Nicaragua. But countries like Colombia are being removed from a list of priority countries and will have strict restrictions moving forward. And I've been very clear that it's up to President Petro to decide whether he wants to keep the relationship, that special relationship with the United States or not. And so far, by the way, his answer in words and more important, to quote Carlos Jimenez, in deeds, uh, is that he does not want that special relationship. As for Cuba, this new bill will restrict funding for unauthorized purposes, like special programming from the regime, but will increase funding towards democratic broadcasting and for $3.5 million to break down internet censorship. That fund is there specifically to break, to break the technology blockade, uh, not only, by the way, in the island, but other places as well among, uh, around the world. That means that the regime's days are numbered. And if Cuba falls, I can see Venezuela falling, I can see Nicaragua falling. And what I mean falling, falling for freedom. And when it comes to the unfolding crisis in Haiti, the congressman had this to say. Haiti is now a failed state. It is a situation that is unsustainable for the Haitian people and for the entire world. diaz Balart says if the Biden administration wants to assist the Caribbean country, they will need to consult with Congress first. Whatever they do has to be consulted with Congress because as of now we've seen zero leadership on this tragedy taking place in Haiti uh, from the Biden administration. Another key issue touched upon was Israel and Gaza. diaz Balart says Israel doesn't have to meet any criteria to receive U.S. funding, but he said that's not the case for Gaza. In Hialeah Gardens, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.